Welcome to Vital MTB's 2021 Enduro Test Sessions. We knew just where to test these bikes, Reno, Nevada. Surrounded by rugged mountains, strewn with rocky trails, we knew the biggest little city would be the perfect proving grounds for our bikes. Sky Tavern Bike Park is a nonprofit that operates on city land and is free for the public to ride. Their expanding trail network includes an adaptive green trail all the way to hard-hitting black diamond runs. From heavy downhills to steep, challenging climbs, the Sierras threw it all at our test bikes. In this video, we'll be digging into the all-new DaVinci Spartan HP GX12S, our only high pivot bike in this test. To read the full review, head to vitalmtb.com. DaVinci's new Spartan high pivot launched the day our test session began. DaVinci's Enduro racers have been using the Spartan platform to take on the Enduro World Series for some time. It was with their feedback that the Spartan moved to a high pivot bike, still utilizing the split pivot design. The main focus with the Spartan HP was to make a bike that was more comfortable at speed and could still move about the mountain efficiently. It is strange times when a 64.5 degree head angle is among the steepest in a bike review but DaVinci didn't need the Spartan HP to be incredibly slack. Its 465 millimeter reach was the second longest in our test, as was the 1242 millimeter wheelbase at SAG. Because it is a high pivot design, the Spartan HP's numbers will grow as it moves through its travel. In the case of the chainstay, 425 millimeters on the chart equates to about 435 millimeters at SAG. In brief, it is hard to summarize a bike like the Spartan on paper. This is a bike that needs to be ridden in the dirt to analyze. Our test bike was the GX12 speed build. As the name implies, the Spartan uses a full SRAM GX Eagle build with SRAM code R brakes and 200 millimeter rotors. In stock form, our bike has a Fox X2 Performance Elite rear shock and Fox Performance 38 fork. At DaVinci's request, a Grip 2 damper was installed to help level the playing field for the Spartan HP. Since every other bike on our test was on higher end suspension, we obliged in order to get a more equal feel for the Spartan's handling in the rough stuff. More than drivetrains and dropper posts, it's the suspension that alters a bike's ride qualities. No matter what suspension damper was in our test bike, there was no avoiding that near 35 pound test weight. With the Spartan tuned and ready for action, it was time to hit the trail and see what this high pivot brawler had in store for our testers. Initially, when we were going down the real steep stuff, um, I could definitely tell that the bike was like very planted to the ground. With that impression, I didn't really think that it was gonna be like a very fun, playful bike to ride. And for the most part, coming down, it felt like it wasn't real poppy, it just really really wanted to stay stuck to the ground and it wanted to go fast, which was really cool. Um, and then uh, when we did get into the more flowy stuff, um, I noticed that it was kind of a poppy bike, but you definitely had to work a little bit more for it. This one was surprised me. That's easy to call out. Um, when I unboxed this thing, when I saw what they had done, I was like, oh, sweet, a tugboat. We threw it on the scale. I was like, oh, 35 pounds, like my life is over. Um, and I just kind of figured that I'd be riding a steamroller. Um, and it, I was like, okay, like, cool. You guys joined the high pivot terrain, train. Um, I've ridden a lot of Da Vinci's in the last uh, year and a half. And I know how their split pivot feels. I was like, oh yeah, it's got this great bottomless feel and da 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 da. Um, and so they're going with this high pivot. I don't know. Um, I was kind of expecting a slug. Um, it, I was wrong. I was so wrong. <laughs> At high speed, uh, man, it just it just went through everything, no problem. Um, I could maneuver it. Um, it was a really fun ride. It was pretty quick to feel natural on it. You know, it's it's it kind of just has a look like it's a big bike, and I think it rides like that. But um, it was easier to move around once I learned it a little bit than I expected. Uh, I never felt out of control. It felt fun. It felt good. Um, and I just could not believe the handling performance of this bike. There was no doubt the Spartan HP was ready for action, but was it too niche? Um, this bike is for somebody who rides steep, rough terrain with big hits and, uh, and likes to go fast 
and, and is not really super concerned with trying to find every little side hit on the trail, just wants to make it down as quick as possible. If I was gonna be racing enduro all the time, out of all the bikes that we rode, this is probably what I would choose because it just felt really fast, really stable. Um, it ate up the chunk really well. Uh, and also for being, um, being a bike that felt heavier than most of the other ones, I thought that it also climbed probably better than some of the other ones did too. Da Vinci has done something special with the Spartan HP, and we were very much impressed with its performance. This will be an absolute weapon between the tape. To read the entire review with more in-depth analysis, you'll have to head to vitalmtb.com. You can check out our complete test session with a link at the end of this video. If you want to know more about what the Washoe Valley has to offer, head to visitrenotahoe.com. And until next time, Go ride your bike.